the east out of the eastern entrance of Westerbourne for about 25 minutes. And it's glassing out, it's getting calmer and calmer, and we're starting to see birds. The water temperature is 18.2. The water's blue. No boats. This is going to be a magnificent day. And we all deserve to catch a fish. We've done a couple of hard trips. I've not caught fish recently. Even though we've found them, they haven't bitten. Yeah, they are old oh, mutton dogs. Couple of scratches, Dave. You go fish on the sounder. Go, yeah, let's just boy, let's go. We're done. Yeah. Let's tune up. Yeah. Oh, they're, are they going out? So there? the reason we go on the casting is we're watching on the sounder as we see them on the sounder, they're going down under the boat, they're going downward, so they're getting away from the boat, but they're up on top feeding. So that casting popper on top water. Yes. Yes. Yes, Benny. Benny. Oh, look at that. All over the sounder. Piss off, bird. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, well, that's good. Too. What you do? Oh, God. Tuna. Yes. Yes. Tuna. Good on you, mate. Sorry, I'm straight out of the water for it. Finally, I ate a popper. Oh, he's moving. Oh, you dropped it. Oh. Shit. Okay, clean out of the water and took it. Yeah, how sick is the, the bite on the popper? Set the hook too, but... Yeah, I thought it was that was tight. Yeah, it's just single slack of the draw. Not sticky like the trebles. Ugh. Pretty good and you put a drain up with these birds around. Good bird in the oh! yeah, yes, Sally! Did, did you see that take? <laughs> oh, I did. He jumped onto it. He jumped onto it. <laughs> Camera would pick that up. It jumped onto it. Oh, I can see him on the top of the water. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you go. I love this fishing. Joey. My luck's changed, Davy. That was Explodo bite. We went fishing Good Friday. They were very hard. We went fishing Easter Saturday, they were very hard. Yesterday we enjoyed Easter. And now we're on them. Yeah, if you go that way, Brendan, they're actually working. I can't believe how. Look at these rods, they're epic. Very nice. For an off the shelf Shimano rod, I reckon they're about the exact perfect rod for this. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Uh -uh. I can't believe how they jump out of the water onto the lure. It's like the tuna knows exactly where it's going to land. It's almost like they've got eyeballs. What do you mean, the, what do you mean they know like where it's going to land? What does that mean? No, it's like they're going to. You know, well, they don't, they don't come the under it, they jump on top of it. Because you were in the air. It jumped out of the water onto the lure. Chuffy! <laughs> oh, it's just here. Big old popper bite. Okay. Wait. Swing around one more. Let him come around, Joe. Sorry. Nice fish, mate. Lift his head a bit. Just careful with that rod. Jeez, I can't get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it here. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice, so you swam into the net. 
Cast Brendan, cast. Brendan, cast. Look, look, at the, look at the sounder. Are you on it? Yeah, cast. I need a photo. Hopefully with the foot. Oh, Alright, you do this. Just hold him like that, that's a cool photo. You really need to let him go soon. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do guys, just to lose the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I said one roll in my lure, but I couldn't do it. was right when Rob hit him under my rod. He buggy, he launched on it. He just missed it. He, he hit it like I felt it. Oh, yep. On. On. Oh, he dropped it. What the hell? What is going on? No, he didn't. He just. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't he grab it again? <laughs> no, I think he just took it out. <laughs> He's on towards me. You recording? Yep. I think he turned it off. No, I didn't. I'm on, I know. Yep. <laughs> Son of a pig. Keep casting. That was two in two casts. Yeah, pop a dog. <laughs> Did you see him come out? Yeah, no. I saw the splash. I'll swap with you. Bit of a pig mole. Oh, Alright, we persisted with the poppers. Brendan had one on briefly. I had one. Swipe at the lure and miss it. Next cast, kaboom. Thought he spat it because he swam straight at me, but the popper never came back up again. We're using the Anthem SW. This is my favourite tuna casting outfit. Good length on it and just folds away nicely to give you good power. And long casting levers. Oh, he's pigging me. Pig dogging. I really don't want you on this side of the boat. Still going out the back there. I'm gonna be in a bad situation here. Okay, look out. I'm gonna have to try and bring him around. Yep. This fish is going bullshit hard. The fish I saw, I'm calling over 30. This wasn't that big. No, the one I saw was a real solid fish. Um, you wanna... He's right under the boat. Hmm? He's right under the boat. He's big. That's why he was hard to catch. Oh, Davey. Yeah, that's not the size. There's a much bigger boy. fish. The... Yeah, maybe. Very good. Joe, you film, I'll film yeah, grab this. Oh, that was your shot. It's all right, he'll come around again. Yeah, if they balance the boat there, Joe. This one's already filming, mate. Okay. Hang on, he'll come around again. He'll... All right. Oh. Yeah, he... <laughs> I'll, I'll drop the net. Yeah, very long fish. I'll just spin him around. Very, very long. Get ready. Fish. Gumming him. Got it? Feel Nicely fish. done. I gummied oh, him. That's the phone almost broke the net. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Davey, that's a good one, buddy. He's over 20. Yeah, every day of the week. It's on that rod. Shimano, we got them. Let's get a process of quickly, then, eh? Yeah. Okay. Bluefin tuna, everyone. Thomas McCoy. <laughs> Southern bluefin tuna, not related to the Atlantic or the Northern. Currently listed as recovering. Work, and that is about as fun as it gets on a popper. We're gonna send him back. You ready? Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, at the right there, one o'clock, 50 meters, three or four just went. It's straight in. Oh, the right beside the boat. One just went here. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Turn left. We're fine, let's see.
sick bait. favourite sticks for casting. See, you know why, Jamie? Look at the handle section. The distance between here and here to lift a crank of fish. Look, the distance here is good to lift a fish, see? You don't want a short section. You want the, the real seat right away from you. Also gives you a big casting, cranking handle. Cigar in its mouth. Finally, ate one real. I've had like seven of them come up and just smash the lure today. And I couldn't land one. So this one actually. Where's the flies? Right up in here. Oh, All right, you are videoing. Like crazy I know, on I know. Can I just get the lure out? I'll hold him, you ready? I'm videoing, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll do Get the camera on. One angle point five. I can't do 0.5 on 4K. Oh, yeah, stop it. Yes, you can. Chuck Norris Nomad 140. Anything, any cup face popper about that profile is what is getting eaten for us. I'm also using a rooster popper on my rod, so whatever works. Is that really, Joey? Yeah, mate. Ready? Okay, we're off on five. Early. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, mate. Oh, you want to tag him? Do you want to tag him? Okay. We got the buddy pop dog on the we got the tag. Yeah, we're not casting a fish that are working on the surface or or on bait balls. We're literally pulling fish up from the depth with little poppers. Um downside to today is our full big story that we're recording from the minute we got out here, which is very exciting, has all gone down to the bottom of the sea with one of our GoPros. So we're now Bit down and depressed about that, all that beautiful work and those big fish you got this morning, footage all gone. Came up with the goods in that clean water right next to the boat. Yeah. Oh, you right in the, right in the eye, Tommy. No, nah, he's, he's fine. A he's a man, this kid. I'm gonna say man. Oh, man, what, what a, a guy. It's, a, it's, a, that, it's embarrassing, don't we? I'm saying it's too small. You have to. His knee's gonna bang. Crocodile rolling. Nice fish, son. On the popper, that's number three for you. Number three, buddy. All right, spear him off, Joe. Spear him. One, two. 
That was a good spear. That was nice. Really good spear. Not big, booming, loud, aggressive hopper work. We're literally finding them on the sounder and finding the birds, and we're just, just gently just twitching little poppers across the surface. And the tuna are coming up from underneath, 10, 15 metres, and just coming up and just racing and monstering the lures. It's, it's very exciting and very different. And it's actually been quite a breakthrough for us for catching tuna on days when nothing else works. <laughs> yeah, the poppers are the best hits, Joe. Oh. Oh. Get him? No. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, that's the left. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. I, I, got, I got that. I got that. Well done. I wasn't even watching. Oh, oh, he's breaching with my lure. Actually, he didn't get me on Where is he? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Come on, back to me now. Wait, back to me. Get off my net, boy. Oh, it's not going off now. Sorry. I think we're going to have to put this down. Right, I'll get it. This awesome. uh, we've got a double hook up here. Oh, he's got another one up. I'm stuck in the net. Uh oh, that's not good. Hang on, Joey. Yeah. Hang on. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Poppers. Pop dogs. Melbourne, Australia. Actually, I've killed Kunda. This is the third that's east I've caught them, and they, there's a lot of fish out here. We're gonna get this going, and we're gonna get some more. You ready, Joey? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 